Hey guys, it's Jess and I am excited to share a card tutorial with you today as part of my live and later series that I decided to start doing on my YouTube channel. So this series will include videos that I filmed during a live stream session and then I will go back after the fact, edit those videos and turn them into a card tutorial for you guys so that if you don't like to watch lives or you missed out on the live, you can still catch what we did and be a part of the action in this way. So for this card, my first live and later, uh, project, I am trying out the new Simon Hurley line of products. So for this first part, I was actually swatching out the ink colors of the new line of inks from Simon. So they are dye ink pads and there are 12 colors as part of the new collection. So the first color was called Rosy Cheeks and then Bee Sting. Um, this one is an orange color called Traffic Cone, um, and then I have just gone through each and every one of these colors and swatched them out. Um, I did clean my stamps thoroughly in between there just to make sure I didn't get any um, color transfer from one ink pad to another. Uh, this one is called Slippery When Wet, so it is the brighter of the two yellows that are included in this first release of colors. Uh, there are, like I said, two colors of yellow. One of them is this brighter color, and then the other one that I do next is called Over the Moon, and that one is a softer yellow. So you do have a range of colors here, which is really nice, um, especially if you're looking to color match a specific feeling or vibe. Um, you've got some options there. So, uh, like I said, I did go ahead and start this out as a swatch. I wasn't intending to make this a background when I first got started, but as I continued to stamp all of those colors out, I realized that this would make a really pretty cool background. And so I decided to save it instead of just using it as a swatch sheet, and I turned it into the background for my card. So I, instead of going back up to the top with the green, I decided to start from the bottom. Uh, the first one that I used is called Overzealous. This is like kind of more of a lime bright sort of green. Then the next one is called Later Gator, and it has a little bit of a darker tone to it. Um, so again, you get that variety of colors, so you're not stuck with just one shade of a particular color. There are also two blue colors in there and a purple. Um, the two colors that I didn't use for this particular color swatch section of my card um, are the brown and gray colors. Those are called Woof and Gur. So Woof is the gray color and then Gur is the brown color. And Simon has told the story about how he named those in honor of his dogs. Those aren't actually their names, but um, he wanted to include them somehow in the product line when he made this. And I thought that was super cool. Uh, so you'll notice that the names of these colors are very lighthearted. They're not traditional ink colors, but I think that makes it all the more exciting. So that first blue that I put down was called Remember Me. And then this one is called Clear Skies. And then the purple color, which I absolutely love, is called Triple Berry. I really, really like the names of these colors. The fact that they are so lighthearted and fun makes me more excited to use them. I don't know if you have that kind of feeling when you make things, but um, that definitely resonates with me. So these color names are awesome. Uh, so like I said, I didn't use the last two colors, but these are the first 10 colors. Um, and what I'm doing is I'm gonna go ahead and stamp out some additional images from Dudes 2. So that Dudes stamp is from one of the large six by eight stamp sets from Simon's New Line. It's called Dudes 2, um, meaning Dudes Craft 2. <laughs> um, and the little guy here that I'm stamping out is from that same stamp set. So you can see he's got a little body and then you can put on different heads. There are a couple different varieties of heads that you can put on there. And I think that's a really cool feature, um, kind of a way to build and customize your own stamps um, out of the, the ones that have been provided for you and make it kind of unique to your own style and your own vibe for your card. So I'm using some black ink to stamp this out with my mini Misty just to make sure that I get a perfect impression. I was really happy with those results, so I went on to go ahead and color. I am going to turn on some music for you while I do my Copic coloring because even though I've sped it up to eight times the speed that I did it at while I was live, it still takes a long time. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and turn on some music and I'll get back with you after I'm finished.
Okay, now that we have gotten our little dude all colored up with Copic markers and I have cut him out, um, it's time to go ahead and adhere him to our card front. So I'm just using a little bit of liquid adhesive on the back of our uh, image here to adhere him to the stamped card front that we created earlier in the video. Um, so I really like the way that this turned out. I like that this little guy is kind of hanging off the edge there. Um, so once I got him placed where I thought looked best, I went ahead and trimmed the card panel down. So I knew that I had to trim off a little bit of the edge, so I kind of left him hanging off the side where I wanted to trim from. Uh, that way I was left with a four by five and a quarter piece rather than uh, one that was larger, like the whole size of a card front. Um, then I decided that I wanted to add a little bit of interest to the card base, and so I took the Painted Lines stamp set, so this is a red rubber cling stamp. I put it in my original size Misty and took out the foam pad that's usually in there for clear stamps. Uh, that way my background stamp would fit. I stamped this in the Woof colored ink, so that's that gray color, and I adhered this little piece to my card base. Um, I prefer to do it this way rather than stamping directly on the card base, number one, because it makes the card a little bit more sturdy and number two I don't have to worry about if I mess up um, and then having to cut an entire new card base I like to just do it on a separate piece so here I'm just uh, adhering some of the Brutus Monroe foam tape um, this is a quite a quite a thick foam tape um, and it gives quite a bit more dimension than some of the other tapes that I've used um, so I went ahead and added that to the back of our card front and then attached that to the card panel um, so the only thing left after this was to add another little bit of a sentiment. Um, so I took a piece of black cardstock, I used embossing ink from Brutus Monroe, and I stamped out, I made you a card. <laughs> I thought that this was such a cute little sentiment and it goes so well with all of the dude stamps in the background because then you get the sentiment, dude, I made you a card, which I think is super cute for a teen or honestly anybody because let's be real, these stamps are super cute. Um, so I went ahead and heat embossed that on black cardstock in white embossing powder and I trimmed it down. I put a little bit of that liquid glue on the back and adhered it right onto my card front and that finished off my card for today. It took everything in me not to add any sequins or anything to this because I wanted to leave it as more of a masculine card uh, and I'm really happy with the way that that turned out. If this inspires you to create something, don't hesitate to tag me on social media at a card day's work uh, and all the supplies are linked for you in the description below in case you're interested in checking out any of those new supplies from Simon. Thanks so much for watching you guys. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys again super soon in another video.